Today we are going to discuss about PN junction. PN junction is the basic building block of many semiconductor devices like diodes, transistors, etc. So, PN junction is the building block of semiconductor devices. We know diode, transistor, photodiode, solar cell, LED, etc. Okay. So, they are made up of basic device called basic block called PN junction. In the last class, we had studied what is a P type semiconductor and what is an N type semiconductor. We know in a N type semiconductor, majority carriers are electrons, minority carriers are holes, and the impurity is called a donor impurity, isn't it? The impurity donates one electron for conduction. Now, in a P type semiconductor, majority carriers are holes, minority carriers are electrons, and the impurity is called the acceptor impurity. Okay. Now, we can discuss the formation of PN junction. PN junction is a single crystal of silicon and germanium daubed in such a manner that one half portion of it acts as P type semiconductor and other half acts as N type semiconductor and this PN junction is formed by metallurgical process. Okay, so that is a uh, very deep process and it is a metallurgical process by which PN junction is formed. So, it cannot be obtained by placing a P type semiconductor and N type semiconductor closer. Okay, it is formed it is formed by metallurgical process. So, two processes occur during the formation of PN junction, they are diffusion and drift. So, these are the two processes through by which PN junction is formed. So, now we can explain one by one. We know in an N type semiconductor concentration of electron is greater than holes because in N type semiconductor majority carriers are electrons. No? So, in an N type semiconductor concentration of electron is more than the concentration of holes. Similarly, in P type semiconductor, P type what are the majority carriers? Holes are the majority carriers. Therefore, hole concentration is more than electron concentration that you know. So, due to this concentration gradient what happens electron moves from higher concentration to lower concentration clear. So, electron moves from higher concentration where electron concentration is more n type. So, electrons move from n side to p side. Similarly, holes move from higher concentration to lower concentration and hence holes move from p side to n side. So, this motion of majority carries due to the concentration gradient is called diffusion. Okay, children. So, diffusion means it is the motion of uh, majority carriers due to the concentration variation. This process is called a diffusion and now we can explain using the figure. So, this is a P type semiconductor. Here, this represents the N type semiconductor. Okay, they are joined by metallurgical process. In P type semiconductor, we know majority carriers of holes. So, these represents holes. Okay, so these are the holes and what is this minus represent this negative represents the acceptor impurity. In P type semiconductor what are the impurity is called the impurity is called acceptor impurity is not it. So, acceptor impurity donates one hole. So, that means the impurity gets which charge negative charge because acceptor impurity donates one hole for uh, hole therefore, that impurity accuse which type, which type of charge negative charge. So, this minus represent acceptor impurity, this is the acceptor impurity, okay, okay children. So, minus means the acceptor impurity and these represent the holes, so this represents the holes. Okay, now N type semiconductor, N type semiconductor majority carriers are electrons, this dot represents the majority carriers, okay, majority carriers which are the electrons. This plus represents the donor impurity because in n-type semiconductor impurity donates one electron, it donates one electron for conduction. So, the impurity gets which type, which type of charge the positive charge because it donates one electron means it gets which type of charge the positive charge. So, this plus represents the donor impurity. So, plus represents the donor impurity. And here dot represents electrons. Okay, so in a P type semiconductor, I will explain once more. In a P type semiconductor, here minus represent the acceptor impurity, and here this zero or uh, this hole rep this represents the holes. 
okay why the except impurity gets negative charge because it gives one hole for conduction therefore itself it gets negative charge and this in a n type semiconductor here these represents this dot represents this uh, dot represents the electron and uh, here this plus represent the donor impurity because it gives one electron for conduction therefore the impurity gets positive charge okay now what happens electrons the majority carries electrons move from n region to p region here due to concentration gradient electron diffuse from n side to p side so electron move from n side to p side so we can mark that figure n side to p side so this is the direction of n to p is the direction of electron diffusion so electron diffusion from n to p now so if electron diffuses from n to p what is the direction of electron diffusion current because if any charge moves means there is some current so if electron diffuses from n to p means what is the direction of electron diffusion current opposite because the current the direction of current is opposite to that of electron same as that of positive and opposite that of electron so electrons move from n to p means what is the direction of electron diffusion current this is the direction of electron diffusion current electron diffusion current okay because electron charge particles moves means it definitely produce some current so electron moves from higher concentration to lower concentration but the direction of current is opposite to the flow of electrons clear now holes move from higher concentration to lower concentration here holes move from which region to which region p side to n side so holes move from higher concentration that is p to lower concentration n so holes move from p to n so that is called a hole diffusion so hole diffuses from p to n and uh, this is the direction of hole diffusion what is the direction of hole diffusion current hole diffusion current is same as that of motion of hole so this is the direction of hole diffusion current because we know current direction is same as that of positive charge so hole diffuses from n p to n so hole diffusion current is also from p to n now we can say what is the direction of the total diffusion current electron diffusion current from p to n hole diffusion current from p to n so total diffusion current is also from p to n so this is the direction of total diffusion current total diffusion current means hole diffusion current plus to, uh, electron diffusion current so total diffusion current is from p to n that is given here direction of diffusion current from p to n clear now if uh, electrons move from n to p what happens here in n region they are left immobile positive charge this positive charge represents the donor impurity so they are immobile so if this electron move from n to p there leaves a positive charge near the junction similarly if holes move from p to n there leaves negative charge in the p region thus the p region near the junction is left with immobile negative ions and n region near the junction is left with the immobile positive ions like this here if electrons move from n to p here they are left net positive charge if holes move from p to n here left net negative charge okay thus a small region is produced here which is depleted of any free electrons and holes because this electrons diffuses from n to p and this holes diffuses from p to n they get neutralized here similarly this electron diffuses from n to p and the holes move from p to n they get neutralized this also get recombines and neutralized so here there is a net negative charge near the junction in the p region and that net positive charge near the junction in the n region is formed and this region which is depleted of free electrons and holes and that region is called the depletion layer so a small region near the junction is depleted of free electrons and holes and has only immobile ions and this layer is called the depletion layer okay so here this is the depletion layer here in the p region there is a net negative charge in the n region there is a net positive charge this layer is called depletion layer 
and the thickness of depletion layer is of the order of 1 tenth of micrometer that is very 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 small 1 by tenth of 1 by tenth of a micrometer micrometer means 10 raised to minus 6 meter okay so this layer is called a depletion layer why it is called a depletion layer because it is depleted of any free electrons there are only immobile ions in the region okay now here in the net in the end region there is a net positive charge and in the p region near the junction there is a net negative charge so this produces a potential difference at the junction they produces a potential difference at the junction that means in the end region near the junction there is a net positive charge in the p region near the junction there is a net negative charge so here there is a potential difference developed at the junction and this potential difference is called a barrier potential so here the accumulation of negative charges in the p region and positive charges in the n region sets up a potential difference across the junction which is called a barrier potential positive charges in the n region and negative charges in the p region develops a potential difference across the junction which is called a barrier potential it is represented by vb like this vb and its value is 0.2 volt for germanium and 0.7 volt for silicon so the barrier potential opposes the further motion of majority carriers so here if the electrons tends to move towards the p region here there is a strong negative potential no so therefore electron cannot overcome or cannot oppose this negative potential reaches the p region clear so electrons cannot move from n region to p region so further motion of majority carriers is completely stopped similarly here potential uh, p region here holes tends to move and uh, here there is a strong positive pot potential here there is a strong potential positive potential the electrons cannot reach the n region isn't it so after the formation of barrier potential and after the formation of depletion layer further motion of majority carriers is completely stopped now here there develops an electric field also what is the direction of electric field from positive to negative this is the direction of electric field an electric field develops at the junction its direction from positive to negative clear now in p region along with the majority carriers these are the majority carriers holes in the p region majority carriers holes in addition to that there are some minority carriers what are the minority carriers in the p region electrons are the minority carriers for example there are two electrons there okay in the first case no need to consider the minority carriers because already the majority carriers are moving so no need to consider the minority carriers during the diffusion process but after the formation of depletion layer and after the formation of that uh, junction that barrier potential majority carrier motion is completely stopped now what happens minority carriers begins to move so here in the p region there are minority carriers electrons similarly in the n region there are minority carriers holes clear so consider two holes clear children so in p region majority carriers are holes in addition to that this red spot represents minority carriers in n region there are majority carriers electrons in addition to that there are minority carriers holes clear now after the formation of barrier potential and uh, after the formation of electric field what happens these minority carriers begins to move so minority carriers holes move from which region to which region n region to p region because in the direction of electric field we know that when a charge is placed in external electric field we experience a force f equal to q e whenever a charge is placed in external electric field e it experiences a force f equal to q e if it is a positive charge the force is in the direction of electric field if it is a negative charge it the force is in the direction opposite to the direction of electric field clear that you know so here since it is positive charge holes are the positive charge it experiences a force in the same direction of electric field since the electric field is from positive to negative that means towards left so this holes move in the direction of electric field that means holes move from n to p holes move from n to p and that process is called hole drift so motion of minority carriers due to the presence of the electric field that is called a drift okay so here holes move from which region to which region n region to p region that means in the direction of electric field and that is called a hole drift if uh, holes move from n to p definitely there is some current 
clear so what is the direction of whole drift current that is also from n to p so this is the direction of whole drift current clear children similarly here in the p region what are the minority carriers electrons are the minority carriers i have drawn two electrons so electrons are the minority carriers we know electrons move in the direction opposite to the electric field electron experience a force opposite to the direction of electric field since the electric field is towards left it experience a force opposite to the direction of electric field it means it moves from which region to which region p region to n region clear so electrons move from electrons drift from p region to n region so this is the direction of electron drift motion of minority carrier is called a drift so minority carries electrons move from p to n and as a result there is a current electron moves from p to n means what is the direction of electron drift current opposite so this is the direction of electron drift current electron drifts from from which region to which region p to n and electron drift current is from n to p and hence we can say the total drift current is from n to p total drift current so total drift current is from n region to p region so here due to the electric field an electric field is developed at the junction directed from positive charge towards a negative charge due to this electric field minority carries electrons move from minority carries electrons in the p region minority carry electrons in the p region move from p to n so minority carries electrons in the p region moves from a p to n that means it move towards the n side and minority carriers holes in the n side move towards the p side minority carrier holes in the n side move towards the p side so motion of minority carriers due to the electric field at the junction is called a drift okay so motion of majority carriers is called diffusion due to concentration gradient is called diffusion and the motion of minority carriers due to electric field is called a drift and the direction of drift current is from what is the direction of drift current n to p thus initially diffusion current is large okay initially in the beginning in diffusion current was large and as the diffusion process continues a depletion layer is formed and which produces an electric field at the junction and hence the drift current increases so initially uh, there is only diffusion diffusion current was greater and after the formation of uh, barrier potential after the formation of electric field at the junction drift current increases isn't it this process continues until the drift current equals diffusion current we know the drift current and the diffusion current are opposite okay so the process continues until diffusion current and drift current are equal thus a pn junction is formed and after the formation of pn junction under equilibrium no net current okay so thus a pn junction is formed so initially there was only diffusion after the formation of barrier potential after the formation of depletion layer and after the formation of electric field at the junction they produces what diffu drift and uh, drift and diffusion are equal and opposite a pn junction is formed okay children so that is the formation of pn junction